Nearly 300 migrants awaited in Ahuntsic Kati Airville Center. Nearly 300 Haitian migrants were expected Sunday evening in the former Sisters of Providence building in Ahuntsic Kati Airville, Montreal, a new shelter for asylum seekers waiting for their welcome papers. Just as at the Olympic Stadium, which opened several hundred migrants last week, refugee families will be entitled to a bed with bedding, access to a shower and three meals a day. The Centre Western Sears, whose mission is to provide shelter and accommodation for migrants arriving by the hundreds every day in Montreal, states that this new centre in Ahuntsic Kati Airville could even offer up to 450 beds if the demand is felt. People are returning faster than they are coming out, says Francine Dupuis, Director General of the Sears Centre West. Since July, the demand is more robust. Normally, Migrants stay for a few weeks, but they begin to feel that they could stay for more than a month because provincial officials are struggling to meet the demand and provide them with their papers quickly. This Sears collaborates in particular with the Red Cross and the WMCA of Montreal. Wave of Haitians Since April, these waves of migrants arriving in Montreal from the United States or Latin America contain a high concentration of Haitians. There is a little panic. I do not know why admits Marjorie Villefranche, director of the Maison de Haiti in Montreal. It is enough that some people get expelled so that the noise begins to run throughout the community that their license will not be renewed. So they panic and try to find better elsewhere. The Haitian House has helped between 150 and 200 families of Haitian migrants since April to fill their administrative papers and find accommodation. The community must understand that for now, there is no urgency. You have to keep a cool head and carefully target their needs later, or to find an apartment, mainly, says Villefranche.